So the other day, I was in a rush to get out of the house, and I was quickly making salmon sandwiches for my family. Now, my daughter, my five-year-old, says, Mom, what's for lunch? And I tell her, and she was like, Oh, I really wanted Italian wedding soup. And now, I had been meaning to buy Italian wedding soup. I kept forgetting to buy her favorite soup. But actually, today, I had it in the cupboards. And I'm like, okay. I'll make you Italian wedding soup. Then her seven-year-old sister comes into the kitchen. Mom, what's for lunch? And I tell her, and she's like, oh, I hate salmon sandwiches. Now, last week, she liked them. But today, no, she doesn't like them. So she's like, please, Mom, please, can I have a grilled cheese sandwich, please? And now, this is the mommy guilt that starts rising within me. I just gave her younger sister what she wanted, right? So I'm like... I will make you a grilled cheese sandwich. Then their, their baby brother comes in. He's crying, his arms are in the air going, mom, mom, mom. So I pick him up, and so now I'm making three lunches with one hand. Then my five-year-old says to me, she says, mom, I want to make a smoothie. I'm like, no, I do not have time to make a smoothie. She's like, I'll make it myself. I'm like, fine, I need my cookbook. So I reach above the stove to grab her cookbook and my, my joy of cooking book, with, which is more like an encyclopedia, it falls out, it lands on the pot of soup. The pot flips over, goes all over the floor, the cupboards, the dishwasher, the fridge. The kitchen is now a disaster. So I put my little guy down, he starts screaming. I run to get the mop, but I can't find the pad that Velcro's on to the end. So I grab the broom and I'm sweeping up this mushy mess. I leave the stuff in a pile, leave my broom, pick up my little guy and continue to make the three lunches with one hand. Now, here's the icing on the cake. My husband walks into the kitchen and says to me, what is this broom doing on the floor for? And I, I start to explain what I was just going through. He's like, I don't want to hear any excuses, just pick it up. You know what I wanted to say to him, right? But instead, I take a deep breath oh, and release the anger and continue to make the lunches. Now, I created that whole disaster. And you know what? It was a great reminder that I need to make decisions that are best for me. And when I do that, Sometimes people in my life are going to be a little angry with me, but so be it. I am only responsible for my own happiness. So make decisions best for you. You will be happier, less stressed, and you'll help other people in your life to realize they can also live a life with more joy. Thank you.